to Grill Seekers. Each week on Grill Seekers, we'll fire up the food, the fun, and we'll seek out the culture. It's Grill Seekers. If you've got flame, we'll travel. Welcome to Grill Seekers. I'm your host, Mike Pettit. This is a 30-minute reality show for all things New England. Each week on Grill Seekers, we're going to seek out the food, the fun, and the culture. So the lobsters are, are, are determined and judged, if you will, on their weight class? Exactly right. So weight kinda, and quality. So it's kind of like a, like a boxing match. A boxing match or a lobster beauty pageant, as it were. A lobster beauty pageant. So the weathermen really uh, uh, are your friends on certain days? If they're correct, they're my friends. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Have you watched the news lately? <laughs> it's the 50-50 forecast. Yes, it is. It's a toss of a coin. This is a segment that celebrates being a guy. If you're going to have a man cave, you got to have a big screen TV. you got to have a fridge, maybe some foosball. How about ping pong? Maybe a Beatles collection. Let's check it out. Do you think there's a remote chance with the internet that there's a rogue lobster out there somewhere. Now Dave, why the Beatles? Obviously one of the greatest rock bands, if not the greatest band of all time. You know, we here at Grill Seekers, we're all about food, fun, and culture for all things New England. We're not gonna disclose or showcase someone's age, but Dave Madden from The Lobster Trap, he's got a big trap. You know Madden, the lobsters got eyes that are lifeless. They got the tentacles. Perhaps they were using a little Barry Bonds cream. They could be big, huge. The lobster's gonna swallow your whole. This is incredible. I mean, we could start our own band. But you'd marry Oko Yono and ruin it. Oko Yono. <laughs> what did I call him? Oko Yono. Oh, what did I call him? Oko Yono. Oko Yono. It's Yoko Ono. <laughs> That's a no no. Are, are most lobsters right clawed or left clawed? Yes. Question number two Do lobsters get um, uh, seasick? Do lobsters ever get separation anxiety? <laughs> I, could, I could give you the answer without you doing that. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you you look like Richard Dreyfuss? Uh, no. <laughs> Do you have a nickname? Richard Dreyfuss. <laughs> <laughs> Boxers or briefs? Boxers. Thin Oprah, chubby Oprah. Chubby Oprah. Ginger Marianne. Marianne. At the end of the day, when the lights go out, what's the last thing that goes through your mind? Do lobsters dance in your head? No. At Easter time, do all your kids get little lobsters? Yes. Does your wife love the smell of seafood? It's the smell of money. <laughs> I love that. So you've got the man cave, you've got the foosball, you've got the ping pong, you've got a big screen TV, you've got it all. We had a great day here on Grill Seekers. Want to thank Dave Madden from The Lobster Trap. Dave, we went out of the boat, we caught a lobster. Chef Dan prepared some great crab cakes for us. We learned all about the lobsters. I mean, my brain is full, my belly is full. You have to come down to The Lobster Trap. It's a Cape Cod tradition www.lobstertrap.com. You want to get a fresh lobster, some great seafood, just come in and, and experience the whole lobster trap life. You come, you say hi to Dave Madden, you tell him the grill secret sent you.